Hello viewers, welcome to this maiden edition of Extra Mile Beyond the Norm. My name is Philip Igbini Jesu and it's my delight to be your host in this program that is designed to bless you and add so much value to your life. Welcome to this edition. I want to speak to you today on a topic I choose to title Going the Extra Mile. Going the Extra Mile. A fact of life that often, you know, causes me to wonder is the tendency of very many people to settle for whatever life throws at them. People have this tendency to relax and accept and even proclaim que sera sera, what would be would be and they just accept and become everything that life dictates for them to become. I'm here to let you know that life can be more and better than that. You can actually go the extra mile. You can actually refuse the circumstances that life throws at you. I don't care what the situation of your birth may have been. I don't care what the circumstantial conspiracies that have been against your life may have been. I don't even care the opposition of men or of spirits. If you will determine, if you will agree with God and agree with yourself that you can experience a change, a transformation, all things are possible with God and with you. And I therefore want to challenge you with these words. All around us, there are examples that confirm that change is possible. I mean, the, the, the best example possibly is of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who started in the lowest of a place, born amongst animals in a manger. But by the time his life was over, 33 and a half years over, he left in a blaze of glory. And today, all of human history is centered around his personality. That is a definitive confirmation that your beginning and your present is not enough to stop a glorious tomorrow. A friend of mine will always say that your condition is not your conclusion. I'm here to challenge you. In the Bible, you hear the story of a Jephthah who was thrust out of the family because of his, the legitimacy of his birth, having been born out of wedlock by a But by the time Jephthah's story was over, he ended up ruling the same people who said he couldn't amount to much. I don't know what your story may be right now, but the good news is if you chose to go the extra mile, heaven and earth will agree with you the moment you determine to take that turn. You know, in, in the Bible, Paul, you hear a man like Paul saying in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. In order to be able to make that, I want to recommend a couple of principles, very simple, A, B, C, D, numbers. The first one is acceptance. You know, in Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 6, the Bible tells us that we are accepted in the beloved. The moment you refuse to accept yourself, nothing else can add up. Your ability to navigate the turn and the twist that will bring you to the expected conclusion of a better tomorrow is first predicated on your ability to accept yourself. Forget the lies that have been told you. You've got to believe in what God says about you. Then your acceptance will not produce the capacity to become. That's the B. When, now, when you have accepted yourself, you've got to become all you can be. You've got to become what God wants you to be. You've got to choose to take the turn, to, to engage the process, to, to, to take up the discipline, to accept the challenge and become the best of you. It is in that new you that you have the ability not only to go the extra mile, but to end on a glorious note. Can I add a quick C? And the C says you've got to continue. You've got to persist. You've got to stay the course. Don't give up. Don't resign. Nobody can bury you until you die. I'm here to announce to you, according to the word of the scriptures, that if you can believe, all things are possible. God bless you. Thanks for joining us today on Extra Mile. Would love to hear from you as you comment on any of our social media platforms. Please feel free to share your Extra Mile testimonies and how God is impacting your life with us. We look forward to seeing you next time on Extra Mile.